Hello everybody, today we will talk about audio visual system for classroom and lecture room. Okay, as you can see here, this is the components. These are the components of the audio visual system. We have here this is the projector. Then we have here one more speaker, another speaker. Then we have here a small pool and the audio stage. Okay. Here is the connection for the projector. We have one cable here coming from the CPU inside the audio to the projector, and another cable from the projector to the controller inside the audio. Then the two speakers are connected together through looping. Then after that, the cable is going there up to the audio. And the smart board, we have here USB cable. This USB cable is connected to the smartphone from one side, and the other side from the USB cable is connected to here to the audio stage. Okay, here, here I will remove any pin. We have four colors: blue, green, red, black, and we have here a sponge to clear everything. If I will remove the uh, blue color, that means it's identified. So if I mark here. Okay, here we are also the same. If I want to clear, so I can press here this punch and everything is clear. Also, the smart board as it's connected to this USB cable. So it will work from the audio, also from here, if I need to press, but I should check here on the mouse, then the sound is working, okay? I want to adjust the level of the sound from here, but I shall check there. The volume consists of the following. We have here, this is touch screen. We have multi inputs. I can here change the level of the screen. Here we have multiple inputs through AUX. And this is USB, sound in and out. We have here LAN connection and high definition through, uh, uh, through uh, for tablet. Okay, we have here. RGBN and we have power socket. This is to switch on and off the volume, and this is the control panel for the volume. We have here keyboard if I want to write anything. If I want to play the sound, we need for work. Make booze. Here, if I want to play the sound from the volume to the projector and to the smart board, we have already these two speakers there. The two speakers are connected to the volume. So if I will press play here, it will work. If I will change the sound level, it will be changed. Either from here, from the touch screen, or from the smart board. Here, I will show you also the components from inside, we have this drawer which we can keep inside this is the two mics, we have one both of them are wireless okay hello, hello, let's see hello everybody hello, hello so we'll switch off and the other side hello this is the other one which is portable, so I can use it also for recording. And the third mic, this is already fixed here about the audio. Hello, hello. See, it's working. Here, this is the control panel for the mic, but this is in Arabic. Here, this is for the fixed mic, and this for the wireless mic. Okay. We have here also multiple options. But we will not discuss about it now. Here, this is the multimedia controller backside. 
we have already multiple inputs and outputs between this controller to the CPU to the amplifier and receiver. This is the CPU. This is for PC where we are connecting the keyboard and the mouse. Plus also we are connecting uh, the controller to the CPU. Here we have the UHF receiver. This is for the wireless. This is for the wireless microphones. And the third, last, last item, the last item is the amplifier to the podium. So from here, I can change the level of the sound to de increase or decrease. Okay, this is the power of the amplifier. Okay, from back side. This is the remote control for the projector if I want to switch on or off or to make an adjustment on the projector. On back side here, this is the motor which we can change the level of the touch screen. This is the drawer. Then under it, as I told you before, this is the control unit where we are connecting and linking between the projector, CPU, amplifier, and uh, the receiver to this control unit. You can see this is the brain of the body from which we can control everything. This is the CPU from back side. On each cable here it's mentioned to where to be connected. Downside, this is the UHF receiver. And last, we have here, this is the amplifier with power sockets.